everyone! Welcome to day three of our 24 Days to a Crafty Christmas video diary series. Today I had to do some yarn stash shopping. <laughs> Yesterday I got all of my lists figured out, so now I know who needs what, um, what needs to be finished, what needs to be started, and also what I need to buy. And in figuring all that out, I also know what supplies I'm going to need in order to complete my projects or completely start new ones. So whenever I do this, before I go and I do any yarn shopping and spend extra money on yarn, which I could probably be spending on something else, <laughs> I, stash, I, I do a little stash shopping first. So I dive into my collection and I try to match up yarns that I already have with the projects that I have in mind. So that's what I did today. Let's see how I did. Okay, so first I wanted to have a few sets of new dishcloths and soap savers ready to go, which means I need a cotton size for yarn. And here's what I found. So I've got a variegated, nice Christmassy color variegated yarn. It's very uh, festive looking. It's 100% cotton and it's an old ball. I obviously picked this up on sale probably at a Christmas clearance uh, a long time ago. I only paid 74 cents Canadian for it. I don't remember the last time I paid 74 cents Canadian for anything. <laughs> So this is probably pretty old, but it's still in perfect condition and it's cotton and it's in Christmas colors. So I'm going to start by making a couple of uh, dishcloths and maybe a matching soap saver in that. And that'll look really nice and Christmassy. I've also got um, some leftover white and quite a bit of this red. Now it's not a really rich Christmassy red, but it's, it's a nice red and I think either on their own or together, they would probably make a really nice uh, set of dishcloths and soap savers, soap savers scrubbies, and I have quite a lot of it here, so I can make them a bit bigger if I want to, or I can make a few extra in the set, um, and I don't have to worry about running out, so that was a nice find. And then I have this other stuff that we used back in the summer, and I completely forgot we had it. It's sort of a cotton, it's 100% cotton, it's a scrubby, so it's half regular worsted weight and it's half scrubby and I've got some in red and blue. Mr. and Stitches bought all this for me actually and I've got some in green and white and the green and white in particular has kind of a nice, it can it can kind of be spring but it also could be kind of uh, Christmassy especially if I gave it like a nice red border um, so I'm probably going to use these up to make some more dishcloths so I luckily have more than enough cotton yarn to make a bunch of dishcloths soap saver scrubbies and even maybe a couple of little extra scrubbies in between so that done Number two, I want to make a, a whole lot of Christmas ornaments yet. So I want to make some more of our mini Christmas stockings, the little hats, the little uh, sweaters, and the matching mittens. And these don't take up a lot of yarn. So I went through uh, my spat, my stash, and I thought I would look for single balls that don't match anything else, and partly used balls of yarn. And then in an extreme case, I thought it might be kind of fun to attack my my sort of bag of tiny little bits and pieces and string them all together and make like a, a miniature ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> so I've got a lot. I'll just show you a couple. This one has some really neat texture. It's, it's sort of skinny in places and really thick in places and sort of loosely spun. And I thought that this might make really cute little mini hats. So it might really give the little miniature hat some interesting texture. So I'm going to make some mini hats out of that. I've got um, leftover self-striping yarn in some really dramatic colors. There's sort of purple and gray and black in here and I thought that that would really be pretty for a little hat um, and matching mittens. I probably have enough to make a pair of those. And I've got this bag of little tiny odds and ends. So there's all sorts of stuff in here. There's It's all acrylic um, but it's, it's not all necessarily the same weight so it kind of varies from like a light size 3 to a slightly bulky weight size 5 um, and none of the pieces are very long. There's sort of odd balls, there's some sparkle, there's some variegated, there's some solid colors so I'm just going to string it all together in one mad and crazy ball and make a little mini sweater and possibly a matching hat and see what comes out. So that, along with some of the other stuff that I've got sort of tucked away, will probably take care of all of the little miniature ornaments I want to make. So that's done too. Lastly, I have two hats with matching scarves that I want to make this week. 
Now, I love using self-striping yarn to make hats and scarves. Um, and for a matching set, I want to have at least two balls in the same colorway, provided the balls are around 200 grams each. So I need a little less than one ball to make a hat, a little more than one ball to make a scarf, and so the two together, I can make the scarf a little extra long. So, I have two cakes in this chocolate color. We made the hot chocolate infinity scarf out of it. Actually, I actually had a third ball. I'd probably bought them all to make a bigger project and never got around to it. But I have two balls of that left and I really love this. It's really yummy. It's got almost a twinge of green to it, um, but it's mostly sort of cream and chocolate and beige. Really, really pretty colorway. So that'll make a really nice neutral hat and scarf set. And I have one more pair. Uh, this is another pot, uh, pop, a burnet pop, so a couple more cakes, also acrylic, a really nice warm, fiery kind of blend of colors. There's some pinks, uh, a couple shades of pinks and orange in there, and a bit of fuchsia, a bit of a magenta. Uh, really, really nice, so that'll make another nice warm and warm looking hat and scarf. So that's the two hats and the matching scarf set, and that's my entire list. I'd call that successful. <laughs> So I now I have everything I need to complete the remaining things on my list. I've saved myself time and money. And uh, doing some stash diving always sort of helps create some inspiration for another project down the road. So uh, I do have some more ideas, but that'll be stuff I make for myself after this Christmas rush is all over and done with. <laughs> so now that I've got that all situated, I can sit back, put a few more rows on my blanket, and uh, get started with all that first thing in the morning. <laughs> That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye everybody. Hello everyone. This is Mr. and Stitches. Thanks for watching today's Christmas video diary. Here are some other videos you might be interested in. Just click on one to watch it. Have a wonderful day and stay crafty.